Remember when? Oh, 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 remember when, when? Oh, 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 and again and again. Oh, you're gonna remember when? No, you're not, cause you got brain damage. Brain damage, and I remember when, and you can't remember then. Remember when, cause you can't remember then. This week on Remember When, of course, we've had finally the foursome <coughs> of evolution has been shown. For a little. Maybe less than foursome after that Ric Flair promo. Um, but this one was actually, I believe LB came up with this one. It is so. I, uh, I, I thought we could talk about evolution because it's back and yet somehow still a mystery. <laughs> we still haven't figured it out after all this time. Uh, so, so what memorable moments do you have of the evolution? Well, uh, WrestleMania something or other, um, it was Batista, I think it was Batista and Randy Orton, or Batista and Ric Flair, and they were wrestling, wrestling The Rock and Mick Foley. Actually, I think it was all and, three of them. Was it? Well, yeah, either way, it was, it was like a mid-card match. Yeah, it was handicapped. And I remember thinking, this is stupid, The Rock is back, and it's Mick Foley, and they're just going to beat Evolution and waste the time, and Evolution fucking killed both of them. I, it's just shocking. Shocking. The Rock would never allow that nowadays. There's a big titty tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it, it's... Can we can we just do points that happen during re- evolution? Like, does it have to be a team thing? Because one of my favorite times was, I believe the Legend Killer Randy Orton thing was during evolution. Am, am I wrong on that? I don't know. I or, maybe? Maybe? Let's ask Mad, Mad Mike. He used to work for WWE. Yeah, Mad Mike, you watched all of this. You kind of liked all yes. that stuff. Yes, I, I, I am the resident WWE historian. Um, the Legend Killer Randy Orton was during Evolution. Okay. Cause... But it was also a little bit afterwards, too. <laughs> okay. Because he also brought back the Legend Killer thing when he was going up against The Undertaker, and he was not in Evolution then. Okay. All right. Um, but, I mean... But I'm pretty sure this one, this part was, though. Um, um, hold on. Uh, certainly, like uh, when he took on McFoley, when he spit in McFoley's face, and, oh yeah, and, and the oh, comedy commenting... right after that was um, the whole premise of their match at WrestleMania 20. Okay, okay. Um, it was Batista, Flair, and Orton against the Rock and Suck Connection. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I thought those were some pretty good matches, and that that was really Randy Orton, I think, coming in his own. Because you're like, oh, that pretty boy is not going to take, say, tax, you know? Um, and he, he absolutely did, because like, I think they did the follow up on uh, uh, Extreme Rules or whatever it was, One Night Stand uh, after uh, WrestleMania. Maybe Backlash at the time? Who knows? Um, mm-hmm. It was Backlash. Yeah, I felt, I felt like that too. Uh, and it was a pretty brutal match, and he took tax, and it was like, wow, Randy Orton's kind of the shit right now. So, uh, Bobby, what about you? Okay, um, picture it, 2003. Picture Goldberg it. had a uh, bounty on him of sorts, and uh, oh, yeah. he came back from injury and broke his ankle with a steel chair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, that's my evolution moment. Anything that well done, Goldberg getting hit with anything. This is everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's was, fair, Bobby. That's, that's, that's fair. Was that's Batista's fair. like introduction to the group, wasn't it? I think he was injured and he came back. Hmm. That maybe yeah, Batista I'm not, I'm not right. injured? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right out of town. <laughs> what about you, Riz? Uh, I'm surprised nobody said it yet, but when Randy Orton won the championship. The celebration that happened mm-hmm. afterwards. Mm-hmm. Damn it! <laughs> and then the thumbs up, and then Triple H gave the thumbs down, and Batista then uh, electric chair dropped him to death. And then Batista took that for the gimmick for the rest of his career. <laughs> yes, and it hasn't been done <laughs> since. Uh, wheels. I, mean, I think I can think of one more wheels. Can you? Oh man, let's see. You're putting stress on me there, Sword. I still have Damn one if you, want, if you want to stall a little bit, Wheels. Uh, go for it. Do yeah. you guys remember when Evolution had a fifth member? What? Because, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Evolution was such a mystery. Evolution had a fifth member. Wasn't it By Eugene? the name 
of Eugene Dinsmore. Yep. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Oh. And my God, was that fantastic. That was fan freaking fantastic. Having Eugene try to deal with Ric Flair. Oh, oh, it was magic. And when Eugene tried to imitate Triple H and just spit water in Ric Flair's face. That, you know, that era oh, of Monday Night Raw kidding. was like a special kind of weird. Yeah, uh, you really. Say special. <laughs> oh. Correct about that. Wow. Wheels, do you have one yet? Nope. Sorg, that video I put in the chat room yes. is the new evolution Titantron with the background music of the Full House theme song. Oh, nice. <laughs> and it is. It is pure magic. Oh, I'm gonna tweet it my out. My God, if I could redo Full House. I would have Triple H, Randy Orton, and Batista be the three dads on that show. Do me a favor and toss that in the Facebook group. I'm going to send it out on a tweet. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's Who amazing. Who would be Danny Tanner? That would be Triple H. He's the Triple one with H. kids. Okay. Like more kids. This is accurate. Wheels, do you have anything? And plus, Randy Orton Who's would Dave totally Kaye? nail Aunt Becky. Oh, yeah. Good uh, point. And Sorb, no, I don't. <laughs> well, okay, then I got another one for you. Um, Good. Remember the breakup? The the final breakup of uh, of uh, Batista at the end, and I think we all loved it. Um, I don't know what. Oh yeah, the when he won the Royal Rumble and he had to pick which title to go for. Yeah, and you got you got Triple H like, and they took a while with it. They took their sweet time with it. They kind of teased a little bit like way back in maybe November, December, right? And we're like, it's gotta come, it's gotta come, right? It's gonna come, right? And it finally did. That was. <laughs> Show title. It's gonna come. It's gonna yeah. come, everybody. <laughs> it's gonna come. And then... I tried to order Eddie. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. That was so. That was perfect. That was, that was perfect. It wasn't what you said. Yeah, it was how you said it. It was how excited you were that it was going to happen. Oh, oh, I was excited. It's gonna come. It's really gonna come. And I oh, believe that's the show title for this evening. Oh, oh, oh right be. in the face. It's gonna it's come. Gonna come. <laughs> Continue. Wheels, do you have anything? Ahead, My sorry. God. <laughs> Wheels, sorry, just you're say what evolution is. The- Tell us your favorite evolution or or Dick T's promos um, <laughs> Wheels, on our social media, on comments for this. If you when found this clip on YouTube. All oh, the belts. Oh. There we go. Even the Divas title? No, <laughs> no, but all the male belts. Because they had the <laughs> cool thing. Even um, when they came to the ring. Oh, wheels. Wow. On that note, hey, you know, another way you can support us and put a, put a shirt on your back, literally, is ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. We got great shirts over there by the great Alex Cars, including the classic logo Wrestling Mayhem Show, property of WMS, good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show. Good time.